Hey guys, it's Marianne, and this is the first look in my Alice in Wonderland series um, for the new movie that's coming out March 5th. Um, I'm going to be trying to do all the looks using my Alice in Wonderland Urban Decay palette. Um, I may not use every color that I use for it from the palette, but I want to try and use some of them from there, um, just because there's really fun colors in the palette. Um, this is the look inspired by the Cheshire Cat in the new movie, not the original. Um, I wouldn't say that this is an everyday look, this is just kind of a fun look that I put together looking at a picture um, from the movie, which I'm going to put after this little intro, and then you'll see the tutorial. So, if you want to see how to recreate this look, then keep on watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I already primed my eye with um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then on top of that I used Max Dean Early Paint Pot, which again, always what I use in my tutorials. Um, it's just a um, kind of matte, just skin tone color. If you guys have um, like Delft, or I think I think that's what it's called, the Delft Paint Pot um, for Max, that may work really well for this look. I'm not sure how blue it is. Um, I kind of wanted to stay on the teal side, but I think Delft would, or Delft, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, though. I don't have it, so I don't know exactly what kind of, um, blue tone it is, but you can definitely try that out. Um, now, when I was first thinking about this look, I was going to use the Alice color in the Alice in Wonderland palette, which is the blue. But, I was looking at it and kind of felt like it was too blue so I was looking through my eyeshadows and I found my L'Oreal Hip um, eyeshadow duo in Showy and it has the matte blue and then it has this really pretty teal color now I hate this matte blue color it is the hardest eyeshadow I have ever had to work with it doesn't blend well at all I know all matte shadows are really hard to blend but this one is just ridiculous like Seriously, you put it on your eye and it goes nowhere. Um, so, obviously, I haven't really used that one, but I felt that this color, the, the teal, was better for this look. But I'm just going to swatch for you really quick. This is the L'Oreal hip. And then, this is the Alice in the Alice in Wonderland palette. So, they're pretty close in color. I mean, the Alice is more on the blue side, whereas the L'Oreal hip is more on the teal side. This is the L'Oreal, that's the Alice. So, I mean, if you have this, if you have the Alice in Wonderland palette and you want to go ahead and make it more of a blue look, you can definitely do that. Um, or if you don't have the palette, you can definitely go for this L'Oreal color. I definitely think they're pretty doable for each other. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the L'Oreal Hip Color, the teal color, and the showy duo. And this is a really pigmented color, so you really don't have to put too much on your brush. Make sure you top off any excess because um, this does cause quite a bit of fallout. And we're going to put that all over our lid. As you can see, this is a very pigmented color. You don't have to worry about it being perfect um, if it looks a little bit messy at first, because we're obviously going to clean that up towards the end when we do our highlight and all that. Uh, I mean, our crease and highlight and all that. So once you have you can definitely play up the intensity. Um, I think that's more than enough. As you can see, there is some fallout, so I'm just going to brush that off. You can obviously brush the fallout off when you're done, but I like to do it kind of while I'm doing the look. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a crease brush, and I'm going to go into the Alice in Wonderland palette, and I'm going to use the color Vorpal. And Vorpal is just a gray color, right there. Um, so any kind of gray you have will do. Um, this has a bit of shimmer to it, so, I mean, if you want to use a matte gray, you definitely can. Um, or if you want to use a shimmery gray, I think 
shimmer is better for this look. Um, just because it's not really like an everyday look. This is just kind of like a fun look to play around with. Um, okay, and then we're going to go into the crease. And we're going to put the Vorpal all in our crease. And at first it's going to look a little bit scary, but in the end, I think anyway, the look all comes together, so. Um, the Urban Decay shadows I noticed have quite a bit of fallout. Um, I think it's obviously because most of them have a lot of shimmer or a lot of glitter in them. Um, so you just want to be careful um, when you're using them, especially if you're like me and you like to put your foundation on first. Now, since there is so much fallout, I'm going to go back into the teal color that we used. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on our lid, just on my lid, just because some of the gray kind of came down onto the teal. And I really want the teal to be the pop of color, obviously, in this look. And you're just going to blend this, the crease color and the teal color together because again, obviously you don't want a really harsh line. Now, in most of my recent looks, I've kind of been just, the outside part of my eye, I've been, I have the eyeshadow kind of in like um, a round motion. Of course, like I said in other tutorials, if you want to do a sharp line, you could do that. Um, you can put scotch tape there. Some people are just talented enough that they can do that sharp edge. Um, I just like to make it rounder unless I'm going for, you know, a look that I think the sharp line would complement it. Um, again, this is just like a fun look. It's nothing, you know, I don't think you could go wrong if you were to make a sharp line or not. Next, I'm going to take the color White Rabbit. Ooh. And it's just this kind of cream, I want to say off-white glittery color right here. So, I mean, you can use any highlight that you want. And we're just going to put that up onto our eyebrow bone. And then I'm going to take some and just put it into my inner tier, my inner corner. Just kind of bring it down a little bit. Now, this is a really fun look. Obviously, I'm not saying that this is a look that you would wear out to the grocery store or to work or to school. Um, again, I took inspiration from the picture of Cheshire Cat from the new movie. Um, you can definitely tone this down a little bit. Personally, I like to wear bright colors. I don't have any problems wearing bright colors. I kind of take rules and throw them out the window. I think you can wear a bright blue eyeshadow during the day if you want to. Obviously, if you have a job or if you're going to school, you have to, you know, kind of tone it down a little bit. But I don't believe in that whole, oh, you can't wear that out. Um, so you can definitely tone this down a little bit. Use, you know, a more muted teal color, maybe not such a dark um, gray color. Um, don't bring it up as far to your brow bone as I did, um, and you can definitely make it wearable um, to your taste. I mean, for me, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Obviously, I like using bright colors. So, um, so now I'm just going to go, I'm going to line my upper lash line with some liquid liner and just kind of do a little winged look, um, and then I'm going to do my bottom eyeliner, and when I come back, I'll let you guys know what I use. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, basically, all I did was line my upper lash line with MAC's um, Fluid Line and Black Track, which is just the black, which I'm sure everybody has seen. Um, then, on my lower waterline, I used Urban Decay's 24-7 um, Eye Pencil in Flip Side, which is a really, really gorgeous teal color, which I think kind of really brings the look together. Obviously, if you want, you can use just a regular black liner. It's completely up to you. Um, for my cheeks, I use MAC's 
um, blush in Tippy from the Hello Kitty collection because, I mean, this is a fun look. I wanted to keep it fun, so I figured, you know, a bright pink color would look pretty. Um, and for my lips, I just kept it simple. I just used e.l.f., liquid lipstick, and pink kiss. So that's that. It's just kind of a nude pink. Um, so yeah, that's it for this look. Um, again, this is just for fun. This is not me saying that this is a look that you should wear to school or wear to work or anything like that. Personally, I like bright colors, so I would probably tone this down and wear this as, you know, a day look. Um, but for those of you who, you know, don't like to wear bright colors or dramatic looks during the day, I mean, this is just all for fun. It's just kind of creating a look inspired by the Cheshire Cat in the new Alice in Wonderland movie. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.